Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bryony. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. For now, let's just dive straight into the video. So for today's video, we've got a bit of a doll beauty haul. Um, this is over a couple of different orders. I recently did a doll beauty beauty box, um, mystery box unboxing. That was like the Valentine's one. Um, I mentioned in that video that I really wanted a specific eyeshadow palette. So after I didn't get it in the box, I went ahead and ordered it. Um, I also picked up a couple of bits whilst I was ordering it just so um to make the postage worthwhile because you do pay postage with doll beauty then they did a sale so with Topshop going um into administration they had a lot of concessions in different Topshop stores which meant they had products in Topshop stores but because the concessions they are still owned by doll beauty the products until they're sold so it wouldn't the product didn't go to the administrators they went back to doll beauty because the Dog Beauty still in essence owned them if that makes sense so they had a lot of products that they wanted to get rid of quite quickly because they'd been in stores so they weren't 100% sure you know what um quality that would be or what state they'd be in etc so they were sold on the basis that you know there could be slight defects there could be things slightly wrong with it they could have stickers and they do all have stickers but when they say they when they said stickers I was thinking it was going to be you know like a big sticker across the front saying sale or whatever it literally only has a sticker on the back and it's got the price on it and that is it so I mean to me I would just peel that off it's not an issue if you were gifting it so unless they were talking about a different kind of stickers I really don't know but they were up to 70% off um almost like sold as seen but you didn't get to see them if that makes sense and they, they said they wouldn't accept things back that were faulty because that's why they were so reduced so I got a few bits that I've been wanting for a while in that sale as well so yeah I'm just going to dive in and show you what I've got before we bore you to death <laughs> so the first thing that I picked up this was part of the full price range although I did have a discount code that I did use um I think there's one knocking about at the minute if there is I'll pop it in the description for you um but this is the palette that I was dying to get um I'm trying to remember how much it was and I just can't think I want to say it was maybe 30 pounds or 25 pounds but then I got disc I had a discount code but I will pop the details in the description for you. This is what she looks like. Now, I feel like there are mixed um, responses to this palette. I've heard people say they think it looks like a child's palette with them being heart shapes. I actually think it's cute as anything. I love it. So... You know, you've got your hearts, you've got a big mirror, and then the front is this new packaging that they're doing, which is like plastic with printed inside. And this is the I Heart Doll palette. I just absolutely adore this palette. The other palettes that they do, they're really big ones. They didn't really appeal to me. This one does just from the colour story. So yeah, made up. I've never tried any doll beauty eyeshadows so I'm really excited to give that one a go so that video will be coming at some point soon I also picked up a gloss in the shade gobby and again this was just in the normal um the normal section not the sale but again I did use a discount code as I say I'll pop that down in the description if it's available And there it is, just a really nice nude um, lip gloss. So I've got a couple of lip glosses from Doll Beauty now and I love them. And I am um, expanding my Doll Beauty lipstick collection. Um, I've got four already and a red one five. And then I've got another two in this haul. We're trying to get as many of the shades that I think will suit me as possible. 
um, with various deals and things. I don't like to pay full price for anything if I can help it. So this is the She's Nude Lipstick in the shade Golden Girl. And this is in the new design. Um, it's raised here, whereas before it was flat. And the bullet is beautiful. When it focuses, you can see it's got hearts all over the bullet, which is just stunning. So we will swatch this for you. These two go really nicely together as well. So that's it there. So yeah, those were the things that I just bought when I wanted to order the palette. So those three things. So it wasn't too bad, I didn't go mental buying things. And then the sale came. Again, I had so much stuff in my basket, but every time I tried to check out, things were going out of stock and I'd have to keep trying and trying and trying. So I actually only bought four items in the end. I also got some sweeties for free, which I love. I love love hearts and I just think it's a really cute um, addition. Everything was beautifully wrapped in tissue as well, even though it was in a sale, which is just such a lovely touch. Um, the, the mailing bag is just beautiful. This was the sale one as well. So they've even put nice packaging on the sale products. So this says, it's like a postcard. It says, doll mail, hey gorgeous. I believe this belongs to you, doll. And then I'm not showing you the back. It's got my, my address on, but how cute is that? So cute. So let's get into what I ordered. First up, we ordered the highlighter palette. So this palette is £40 normally. And it was one that I was umming and ahhing as to whether to get. And the reason that I didn't particularly want to pick it up was because it was £40. And I have four of the shades in this palette and there's six in total. Um, but the two shades that I didn't have are exclusive to this palette. So that was drawing me in to buy it but I wasn't going to pay 40 quid for it. So this was reduced to £10. And mine is absolutely perfect. There is a slight mark on it, but I think it's just where the glues run. I'm just be I know some people said some of the pans are loose. So I'm just being really careful with it. There is a slight mark here, but it is just literally a watermark. So I presume it's the glue. But yeah, that is what it looks like. How beautiful. So... There is literally every shade in here. I am going to swatch them all for you. And where should we swatch? Swatch them here. Some of these are a little bit dark for me. However, they will work as blush toppers and things like that. I do actually really like a iridescent blusher. So I'm not overly bothered about that because we will make them work in one way, shape or form. And I can definitely use at least three as normal highlighters and the rest I'll just use as toppers. So there they are. This pink is beautiful. I want to be able to use that, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to unless I use a really light hand. But I'll definitely be able to use that one. I'll definitely be able to use that one. I think that one's probably like like a diamond. And yeah, maybe the pink, I don't know. Oh, actually the pink blends out really well. I might be able to get away with the pink. We'll have to try it. But yeah, those are beautiful. So I'll just give you the shade names that are in here. So we've got Shine Bright and Like a Diamond and we've got Champagne and Supernova. The Shine Bright Like a Diamond and Champagne and Supernova are in duos as well. And you can buy them separately. So it's basically the outer ones, the outer four, which are ones I've had in the past. You can buy those all separately. It's just the two in the middle that are exclusive, which is the orange and the pink. Now they are darker than my skin tone. However, I do think that it is nice to have the full set and I will use them in one way, shape or form. I actually think the pink will work for me now that I've sort of blended it out. 
I've literally just blended that out and there's not much of a cast so I think these will work for me but we will see I will perhaps do a video trying this palette out if that's something you want to see because I think it's still available at £10 so if you want to see me um, try them on my pale skin let me know and I shall do that for you so that was the first item that I picked up the next item I picked up was another lipstick so this was reduced to £5 and it was supposed to be £13 so again you know more than half price off and this is actually one of the new style packagings it is a concession one it's got a concession code on it so it is a tox I can't even speak is a top shop one however it's you know it's the new range so it's got all the new packaging and everything and that is gorgeous I love that shade so that is FOMO and then the other two items that I picked up were pigments so I got the shades sherbet and lollipop I had all the pigments in my basket but by the time I managed to check out which was difficult because the website was being you know crazy and every time I went to check out something was sold out so then you can't just like tick a box and then check out you have to go back remove it and then try and check out again and every time I kept going back and forth something else sold out so this one's lollipop and I'll just do you a little swatch oh oh my goodness I've not opened this the first time I've opened it I could try and show you without spilling it look at the look at that this has got every single color of wreath light you can think of that is just absolutely insane. This will work a lot better with a um, tacky base. So you're not getting the full, although I'm like, you're not getting the full idea, but look at that. You totally are getting a decent amount of a look at it. That is beautiful. I'm gonna have to pick the rest of these up at full price, which is 10 pound. I think I paid three pound 50 each. And then this one, this is what they were talking about. So I've not opened this one either, but if you can see, it is just everywhere. So this is what they were talking about when they were saying like, you know, you can't return them. There might be some slight flaws. This one has obviously not been sealed properly. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with. It just looks like it hasn't been sealed properly. So that is that one there. And that one is called Sherbet. So yeah, those are beautiful, beautiful pigments. So I'm very excited to give these a go. Again, I've not tried any Doll Beauty pigments before. Something that I've been meaning to try for a while. Only the £10 each was a bit to me. Um, they've got an offer on at the minute. I think you can get three for 15 or four for 15, which is a bargain. Um, so I'd highly recommend you going and checking that deal out. Um, but yeah, that was everything that I picked up in my Doll Beauty haul. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye. Bye.